Hey everyone, welcome to this video based on configuring address autocomplete in Salesforce OmniScript using the Google Maps Places API. This is configured entirely using OmniScript's built-in type ahead element and no integration procedures or Apex code is required. So let's jump into it. As you can see, I have an OmniScript here that will accept an input for an address. Once an address is selected from this pick list, all the data from this address will be filled in into the fields below it. So let's see how to make this start building it just navigate to your omniscript section in your omni studio create a new omni script we'll just name it type ahead just give it a type and save it this will create our omni script and as you can see we have a step one already created what we need to look here for is a type ahead block once you find it, just drag and drop it onto the OmniScript and it will render out. While it's rendering out, you can see the properties that it will have. You can just pre-fill this by enter address. All right, on the canvas also, now it is loaded. So now you can see, you can just scroll down in the properties section. Once you find enable Google Maps autocomplete, just check it. As you are using Google Maps autocomplete, it will require a Google Maps API key. So for that, you can go to Google Cloud Console and create your first project over there. Once you create your project, you can search for Places API and you will see enable button over here as I have already enabled it. And mind you with that, you have to also input your credit card details, but you won't get charged for this. Once you enable it, you will get API key from it and just scroll down in these in the section of APIs and services. Once you find Places API, just make sure it is enabled here. Copy the key from here and get it to your Omni script and in the google maps api key you can just paste it i already have mine so once you paste the key this type ahead block should start working we can just check it by going into preview and typing some address if it is giving you a pick list of values then it's working fine so let's make some fields that will catch this value from this type ahead let's go back to design for it we'll go in the build section again and we'll search for some text inputs that we want we can just drag them into the type ahead section and we can just clone and make four or five boxes the first one we can just give it a label of street and the name as well second one would be city third one would be postal code and let's make the fourth one as country all right once you have these fields in the type ahead block if you navigate back if you click back on the type ahead block properties you can scroll down and you can add a new mapping over here just click over there and you will see all your fields that you have mentioned just select city and you can give it a google response node the response that will be coming from the api so for city it is mentioned as locality we can just save a new for postal code it would be just postal code new for country it would be country and i have one text one i guess i have forgotten to rename the street so let's let me just put it because i know it's going to be street so i'll just put it on street and save it let me just check it yep i forgot to give it street but that's fine now we can just go to preview and here we can put in an input and you will say why the fields are not here because they are currently hidden they are there but they are hidden so this is a good thing to know we have to go back into the type ahead block and enable edit mode this will let the users edit the address if it comes wrong from the api so let's just preview it again and there we go we have some empty fields and we have a enter address type ahead block up there so if we just put a sample address over here and we select from the pick list all these fields will be autofilled this solution brings real-time address autocomplete to your omni scripts using just configuration it speeds up your input ensures data consistency and enhances the user experience all without writing a single line of code so if you found this helpful please make sure to hit that like button drop your questions in the comments and subscribe for more sales post tutorials thanks for watching